Hi, so here we're trying to graph um, x over g of x. So here's the original graph of y is equal to g of x right there. Uh, in red we have the y is equal to 1 over g of x, so reciprocal like that. And then in blue we have the actual answer uh, x over g of x. So we have a few asymptotes, 1 at y is equal to x, uh, negative 1, and 0.8, because at 0.8 negative 1, uh, you'll have a 0 in the denominator, uh, which cannot exist, you cannot have x values there. So, as you, as you when you take the original graph, you're trying to find the reciprocal here. Um, as you get larger and larger x values up here, the reciprocal will be smaller and smaller in fractions of those x values. As you get very, very small here, you'll get very, very large here, because reciprocal large small number is a large number. Same over here, small, large, small, 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 large, 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 small, large, like that. Um, all you have to do to get from this red reciprocal to the answer of g x over g of x is multiply the reciprocal by x. So if you have uh, a positive x, you multiply these y values here, are these, um, yeah, these reciprocals by, these reciprocal y values by x, you get um, that and like that and that. So if you have negative values, you flip it over, uh, negative values over here, cause you these values to shift up, flip over the x, across uh, through the origin. Uh, yeah, so as you approach, as, as uh, the parent graph approaches uh, infinity, positive and negative infinity, it becomes one, uh, it, it becomes very, very, very close to one. So you can say that, you can replace that by saying x is equal, x over g of x, g of x is equal to y, so x over y, which is approximately, as you approach infinity, x is equal to x, is equal to x is over 1. So, as you get very, very large positive x values, very, very large negative x values, um, you'll get a negative x value, a positive x value over 1, which will give you a very positive large y value. So, x comma y of pretty much the same number will give you almost a uh, perfect x, y uh, coordinate. So it as you approach ne infinity and negative infinity, you get closer and closer to uh, x, y over x, or y is equal to x. And as you approach infinity or uh, one, negative one and point eight, you get very very close to that because of this. So, yeah, thank you.